So here we go then, S07 trial races, and we're going to get a quick look at the setup for how they set the races up. First of all, this is what a race runner does. He gets all the all the horses in, and you can see them all there, and and they were the trainers and the age and the rating goes in there. Now, when you're putting your horses in for the league, if you've got a flat horse, you've got to put it in at 975, which makes it a 75 rating. If it's a jumper, you put it in at 100, and it comes out with a 100 rating. So Grayson, they're going to put in. 100 and show you what happens when he does that and he's changed his mind because there you go that's what would happen if they were jumpers and you can see they're all two milers now if he puts in 975 they're all going to come out as a 75 rating and that's where everybody starts with a 75 rating and the handicapper changes things as weeks go on so they're all the flat horses there you can see the name the trainer the age the rating and they go in preference and the distance and all that sort of stuff the race runner then clicks on this button there post race update and everything and then click on to create race using the exported horses and there's all the horses over there that are in this race and so now we change the things over you're going to change the going now to good because that's what the going is for this race the age will be changed as well this is going to be changed from group one to maiden first of all to what order is doing it all in they're going to change that to six furlongs that's the distance being changed and we're going to change open to three-year-olds only and after that, we're going to change the prize money to 10,000, I think, or 100,000, depending on what it's worth. 10,000 is what it is. And then that's it. So now we'll select eligible runners, and all the horses that have been uploaded are eligible. If there was anything there that weren't eligible, it would kick them out, and so we'd know. And now the race runner, Gray, in this instance, will type in the name of the race. As it's just a trial race, I presume it's just going to be called Ascot Race 1 maiden or something in the proper league it would have a proper title and you need to get that right so everybody knew what race it was you can also see from the left there that all those horses that have got an l next to them a green l have been bred by the trainer the ones that haven't are just game bred horses so you can enter horses that you just get in the game without doing anything so you can just get in it and play if you want to you don't have to do any breeding if you don't want if you do want to do well though you probably do need to do that but anyway look over on the far side there you can see the average distance this is a six furlong race most of these horses are five six and seven furlong horses those top two frippery vale and Inchada, are milers really so we're expecting them to come late and not have the speed to win this so there's a list of the runners now then you can see they've all been given a jockey and We'll press the next button and we should get a proper race card and then we can have the first of the SO7 trial races. Let's see how we go from there. So there we go, this is where we'd kick in normally in the league. It's a six furlong maiden at Ascot, three year olds. And the top one is James for Derek Hinton, Stern Koenig, Boatman for Davy Ladd, Sholocky Fat for Hems, Frippery Vale for Alex Cherry, Rogers Barr for C. Beckmuth, Buck Aspen for Darren House, Bonnie to the Reigns for Darren Thompson, Follow the Stars for Derek Hinton, Incharda for Martha Lidham, Kitty Rock for Paul Rhodes and Roland's Ring for Graham Clutterbuck, who's running in the wrong colours because he's got Molly at surface colours there, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, they're all in the stalls. Oh, away they go. Pretty levelish sort of break apart from Inchada, who was pretty slow away, and the grey stewing a kick boatman pulling for his head. Uh, they sort themselves out in through the first furlong or so. Stewing a kick boatman's probably just in the lead. James is close up, follow the stars as well. A couple are wide on the track. Roland's ring is really wide on the track, and the one closest to us is just the leader, follow the stars. And the grey stewing a kick boatman, James over on the far side is just third. Then Rogers Bar, Molly to the range is also close up. Then Buck Aspen. And Roland's ring, a little bit of a gap back to Kitty Rock, Frippery Vale, and Inchada. And Sherlock, in fact, are out of shot as they pass the three furlong pole in there. And it's the Hinton pair, James, and Follow the Stars that dispute the lead. With Sterner King Boatman, the Grey going well in third. Also, coming up now, Rogers Barr looks to be going well. That's going to throw down a challenge for the lead. Monitor the range is also going well, but James is shot on for home now as they come down towards the final furlong and a half. And James is two lengths clear of Sterner King Boatman. Then comes Rogers Barr, Kitty Rock, Monitor the range, but now Sterner King Boatman. And throws down a big chance they come to the final furlong the Sterner King Boatman on the near side is looking the strongest of these and pulls away and Sterner King Boatman's going to win the first trial race up towards the line Sterner King Boatman's going to take it from the fast finishing Kitty Rock then Rogers Bar and Ron Rosie most of the Rams James was next in charge to finish well and up to your first trial race then and I think 
think that's David Robertson. Certainly look like his colours from previous seasons. Who's won it from Paul Rhodes in second. And here it is, Sterling King Boatman for David Lowe. I'm pretty sure that's David Robertson. The winner, Kitty Rock for Paul Rhodes second. Rogers Barr for C. Beckwith third. Not sure who you are, C. Beckwith, but well done. And welcome to you, or are you a returner from many years ago? Roland Ring for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. And Monitor the Reigns for Darren Thompson was fifth. And there you go. You see the card up again there. And that's what you do now. You go down and save it and send it off. And that's it.